Are you looking to have more influence at work, whether it be in your team, with your boss, or with the executives? In this video, that's exactly what we're talking about, how to influence people at work. Stay tuned. If you've noticed in your organization, the people who get the most done are the people who are able to influence within the organization. And if you are looking up to those people and saying, how can I get more done or how can I get my way? Influence is key. So in this video, I've broken it out into three sections. First off, what is influence? Second of all, what are the basics of influence? And number three, what are some things that you can do to have more influence in your organization? So let's jump into the first section. What is influence? When you think influence, you usually think persuasion. Now, it can be, influence can be persuasion, but a lot of times influence is also things like your ability to affect people's thoughts, their feelings, or their attitudes about certain aspects of your work or the organization. And it oftentimes is the core reason that things either happen or don't within organizations. Sometimes people call influence office politics, but in this context, we're just gonna talk about it in terms of building relationships with people and nudging them or helping them get to the conclusion that you want them to get to if you do not have the ability to formally manage someone. So let's talk about what are the basics of influence. When you think about influence, there's two kind of main areas that this falls into, push and pull. Push tactics have to do usually with forcing someone to do something beyond their own kind of feeling positively about it. So let's say if you are a manager of a team and you are telling an employee you have to do this and an employee doesn't want to, that's an example of a push influence, and it's not usually as effective, and it's not really what we're gonna be talking about much in this video. Instead, we're gonna be talking about more of pull strategies, how to get people on board with your thought process, how to get people into um, thinking positively about the attitudes or the things that you're gonna be talking about. Let's jump into the third section, tips of how to influence. First, you need to know your audience. Who are you trying to influence and who are the influencers within your organization? Typically, the person who's making the decision is not the person that you wanna directly influence. You wanna influence whoever influences those people. I know that sounds confusing, but basically, if you know that you wanna reach the CEO or you wanna to talk to the CEO, you wanna make sure that you know who is influencing the CEO so that you can build a relationship with that person. All of this being said, you wanna make sure that you know who you're trying to reach, what their values are, and what are the things that get them excited or move them forward in a positive way. The second thing that you wanna do is you wanna find common ground. If you know who you're dealing with and you know what their interests are, you can kind of guide or align them to whatever values that they align with and that you align with. What that might look like is if you're, again, trying to target the CEO and you understand that the CEO is interested in um, you know, maintaining a healthy profit margin, making sure that things are efficient, making things, making sure that things are optimized, whatever that looks like. But if you're trying to influence them on a decision, let's say for a new software, you would wanna make sure that you are able to build that business case based on the values that they have um, that we've just talked about. Number three, use the right tactics. If you're looking at influencing somebody by just talking to them, typically that's not always helpful. You wanna provide them um, with more information or whatever they need to help make their decision. So again, if we talk about the example of the CEO, you wanna make sure that you're providing the right uses or the right documents, assets, whatever, to help that person um, rationalize and justify and make sure that they are in line with what you want to do. So again, if we're talking about the case of the CEO, maybe you put together a formal business case in addition to having conversations, in, in addition to providing them data or use cases or other things like that. But you wanna make sure that whatever you're trying to move forward, you're moving it forward using the right tactics. And the last thing that you wanna do, number four, is you wanna influence the influencers. So once you've gone through, you know who you're dealing with, you know what you wanna accomplish, the common ground you found, and you have the right tactics being built out, now you wanna make sure that you're influencing the influencers to make sure that whoever the decision maker is, you can kind of get in their orbit and make sure that the people around them understand the importance of what you're trying to accomplish as well. All of that comes together and you'll be able to feel as you're working toward whatever you're trying to accomplish. If you've seen that something's working, if something's not working, you'll get that instant feedback, especially if you're able to kind of take the step-by-step -step that we just walked through and be able to accomplish what you're trying to accomplish in a very short amount of time. What other tips for influencing do you have? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And with that, I will see you on the next one.